The last loop that we'll cover is a for each loop. This one is unique among the other loops that we have covered, because we won't define a boolean expression which would determine if the loop should be executing or not. Instead, we'll iterate over the elements of a given collection without the need to declare an additional variable. The only condition in order for the forge loop is that we need to provide a variable that has a get enumerator method defined. This method is defined in the I enumerable interface. But for now, don't worry if you don't know how to define a method or to implement an interface. I just wanted to make it clear that you cannot iterate over any type. Every array in C -sharp has this get enumerator method defined, so we can use the forage loop, for example, for our cars variable. We can invoke a forage loop in the following statement. Forage. First, we define the type of our elements and a given item variable name. Then with the in keyword, we specify the collection that we want to iterate over. In this case, it is the cars array. And of course, the car type has to reflect the type of a collection. If it doesn't, we would get a compilation error. Just for a moment, let's change the string car to char car. And we got the following error. Cannot convert element type string to iterator type char. So the for each statement is making sure for us that we have provided the correct type of the element. In the for each body, let's invoke const write line for the elements, and if we encounter a BMW element, we'll exit the loop as we did previously. So let's console write line car, and as you can see, we are not referring by the index as we did previously. If that car is a BMW, then we console write line by, and with the break statement, we exit the loop. I restart the program, and there is the expected result, a Volvo, BMW, and a by message without the Mazda element.